guys. We are going to get ready to move our caterpillars into their butterfly cage. Um, but first, so our little Leo, the late bloomer, finally went in his cocoon. But I'm not sure if the one that was kind of hanging on the one caused it to fall. But we have, you can see down in there, one of the cocoons fell. So I read that you can possibly try to hot glue when it's kind of cooler on the hot glue them back. So that's why I'm wearing a glove. I'm going to try to hot glue it and then I will show you moving them to, or I'll try to show you moving them to their butterfly cage. So, all right friends. So when I opened it, here's our caterpillars on the lid and that one is still hanging. So I'm going to go ahead and try to leave it and we'll see what happens. So we are just going to take the lid. Whoa, they're moving. But come on the butterflies in there. It said that they um, will stay five to um, 21 days in their cocoons. So we'll see how long um, they stay in there. So I am just safety pinning the lid to the side so that they can become butterflies. I probably should stick the pin in before I try to stick it to the thing. I'm not sure where a good spot to put it. Oh, that one down at the bottom is really going for a ride. <laughs> Oh, I just touched one. Good thing it was with my glove. They said, I read a thing the other day that actually said um, that caterpillars are very sensitive to bacteria and even the bacteria on our hands. I've never actually pinned them on there, you guys, by myself. So there we go. I hope that's Good, we'll see what happens. I'll keep showing you and hopefully we'll get some butterflies soon. And I'll show you the cup because I know you want to see the cup and what it looks like now that they're out of there. So let me show you. There's, oh, I have to go. There's the inside of the cup with all their former skins and all the food they ate. So there we go. Here is our butterfly cage with our caterpillars. I'm going to set them down and we'll see if we get our butterflies soon. <laughs> 